But you have very heavy shoes. Yes. The shoes are very heavy. They're laden with lead. Like leaden. Well, those are for the people in Germany. So, uh, speaking of which, your accent seems to be changing. Is this because... Why is my accent changing? Is it because you're such a master? Yes, I'm also a master of disguise. Do you find that paranoia is sometimes uh, uh, a, a necessary part of your profession? Being such a high-ranking feline astrologer, certainly you have cats on your ass all the time. Yes, they do not stop. These cats are chasing my ass and throwing pussy at me. Do they ever ask you, like, stock tips or lottery numbers? Should yeah. I go, to go out with this queen over here or should I date this Tom? Well, they ask any kind of question, but most of the time it is about it is about hunting, and most of the time it is about food, and sometimes it is about you know insurance rates and where to find the best insurance, best insurance rates and <clears throat> automobiles and things of that nature. What are your plans while you're in America? Well, in America, I, I like to see all these buffets. That's right. You're also called uh, Mr. Buffet in India. Yes. <clears throat> but like we discussed before, they're not called in they're called Indian buffets here. But in India, they're actually just called buffets. They're just called buffets. Okay. They're not called Indian buffets. Because it would make no sense to call that. But American buffets there are called American buffets. So uh, this brings me of a, a, a question, and this is something maybe uh, we just had here at Cinco de Mayo. Yes. So all the Mexican restaurants, even though Cinco de Mayo is not a real big holiday there, mm -hmm. since it's like a holiday we made up for the Mexicans, they feel it necessary to put all this shit all over the, the restaurants and have big... Uh, inflatable Coronas and yes. all these crazy mariachi guys and and drink specials and we get drunk and they feed us like the beans from last week because we're too drunk to notice That's so true. in other countries do the American restaurants say like on Lincoln's birthday do they have like a big it's Lincoln's birthday in America and everyone's expected to have a big American thing that is an mm. Indian holiday it is for the birthday of <coughs> Uh, Ron Artest. So yes, they still go about celebrating, wearing shorts and punching people. <laughs> they have large inflatable basketballs. Large basketballs, and they wear shorts a little bit <clears throat> smaller than the normal basketball shorts. The Ron Artest shorts are relatively small. You can punch any people, including children and babies, and but not the holy cow. But not the holy <laughs> cow. No, but is cat holier than a cow? The cat is holier than a cow only in Egypt where they have small cats, but mm. all, the cats are also holy, but as long as they're mountain cats, the small mountain cats are more holy than regular cats. Because? Because they're much larger. They're like the great mountain tiger cats with a saber tooth, and they invented the sign of the claw. Ah, yes. So they know, even in Egypt, they knew about the sign of the claw. Yes, because it predated them. So it came from America, certainly through maybe the Bering Strait or yes. something like that. Through cosmosis. I see. And uh, they adopted the sign of the cloth. They adopted it, yes, until the unfortunate incident we now know as we go. We go. We're go. We're go. Oh, right. <laughs> we can call him we're go. No, my accent is changing. Again? Again. If you were in Germany, would, would they call you also pro Legaspi? No, I must match my name to the local fauna. And what would that be? It shall be pro Rutger Hauer. Yes, but now berries are extinct in that side of the planet. Yeah, actually all the berries now come from um, uh, Tibet. Yes, some from Tibet and some <clears throat> from uh, Lithuania. Do you ever, uh, have you ever studied Tibetan feline astrology? Yes, it is quite very far from, far from here, but I went there one time, and there were some, there were some, there were some small mountain cats there. And there were some small mountain cats. There's not a lot of animals out there. Yes. Yaks. There, there, are, there are a few animals there, like the small mountain cats. They had some yaks. 
the yaks. Uh, yeah, the, there's, oh, there's some horses. The Chinese bought the horses, yeah, I the think. The Chinese bought the horses and they bought the... Syphilis. Syphilis and some wallabies. Yes, definitely. Yeah, the yeah. wallabies and the... Uh, trains. Some trains and the coelacanth. <clears throat> oh, certainly. So I heard uh, the other day about someone that uh, was was uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia and got bit by a coelacanth. Yes, he put his foot in the Nile. That's right, that's right. And then there was a Nile silicate. The Nile, yeah, yeah. The silicate will come off a few days if you put if you put the herbs on top of the silicate. On top of the silicate. Like on its back, like on the bottom of the, the rubbery part. Surely it's extinct though. It's not extinct. It's not extinct. There is some in the Nile. There is some also in, in, in Tibet, as well as some wallabies and uh, some some jaguars <coughs> mm -hmm. and uh, manatees. These are like they're Nile manatees. They're much smaller. So we know that there have been Nile uh, manatees for five thousand years, back to the Middle Kingdom of yes. Egypt, and we don't see them in the in the hieroglyphs though. There's no hieroglyphic record of the, of manatees. That's what I think. I think that we've uh, had a really good interview, and I appreciate you coming all the way from Bakersfield, India, yes. to hang out with My Cat Hates You. Um, Hello, everybody in Bakersfield. Mr. Buffet will be back, so hide your, uh, hide your chicken and your and, mountain uh, lions. And mountain cats, but we don't eat those. You don't eat the mountain, but surely they just hang out on the buffet looking for food? Yes, because people feed them. From the buffet? From the, they just walk in. Pasta food. Oh. They like they mm. like the cheese and the tandoori chicken. The tandoori chicken. Who doesn't love tandoori chicken? Yes. Only the chickens. <laughs>